How about, I know, again, you're not a geologist, but how about, again, the, the worries about some of these volcanoes? Like when you think about, you know, the volcano in, Rob, uh, um, what's the name of it? In Yellowstone. Uh, Yellowstone, yeah. right? What's the name of the volcano? There's a name uh, for, for the volcano. The caldera. The caldera, right. Mm-hmm. How about the caldera where... You know, it has erupted three times. I think one of them was 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. And we're overdue for it to erupt again. And every time it erupts, like some 80% of America gets destroyed every time it's, it's erupted, <laughs> right. right? It's it, a bad it, day. Huh? It's a rough day when that happens. <laughs> what, what, what is, you know, how, what is the influence with what we're experiencing right now, we're man-made. Like we can screw it up for it to erupt once again. Do, do you think about I think that? There's anything we're doing that's affecting that. That's just going to do its own thing and go off. Whether it you like it or off. not. Yeah, I don't think we have any control over that. It's it's frustrating, but I, there's no way we can influence that right now. But you know, the thing is with these, like we're overdue. It's the same with meteors. People say, okay, we're overdue for like yeah. a, a dinosaur killing astro- you know, asteroid at this point. But the thing is, we're overdue. If you go to the casino, right, you probably gambled and gone to Vegas sometimes sure. and played a few hands. Yeah. And you know the gambler's fallacy, right? So if you win, you know, if you lose a few hands in a row or win a few hands in a row, you might think, well, therefore I'm due for the opposite yeah, behavior to happen at this win. point. Yes. Yeah. And that's a fallacy. Like statistically, if I roll a dice, and I get a six, it has no bearing as whether I roll a six next time or not. It's completely disconnected. Now, over enough time, these events will accumulate, but um, I certainly don't think that the fact that it hasn't happened for a long time should make you any more scared. If it had just happened yesterday, yeah. you should be just as scared of it happening tomorrow as if it had not happened for 10,000 years or 100,000 years. So the risk you- is the same in every single point of these, of these kind of totally random events like so this. So you're happening. suggesting everybody stop listening to the podcast and go to the casino right now. That's what you're saying. Yeah. And if they lose, keep playing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, it's going to, it's going to, good things are around the corner. It's not exactly you. what I said, but you sure. That's kind of how I took it, folks. <laughs> Listen, get off the podcast, go to the local casino. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, so, so this, this, is this a part of like, look, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. There's nothing we can do about it. But again, we, as civilization, us we, as people, we, we, we. There's a part of us that likes the next. Oh my God, the what if? You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> what's going to happen? You know, it's like you go. You should never go into that building. All right, guys, let's go into that building. You know, what I'm saying, let's see what's inside it. Right. That 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 cave right there. If you go into that cave, rumor has it, 19 bears have lived there, <laughs> and over 728 people have been killed in that cave the last 20 years. Do not go there. However, a lot of people do go there because there's around $700 million of gold all the way at the end. But I'm telling you, don't do it. David, we got to go. We got to right? do it. It's something yeah. about this. <laughs> well, the haunted houses, you see these like, people who go around these crazy, like, <laughs> as, like <laughs> insane <laughs> asylums in the middle of night. Yeah. And you're thinking, like, why are you, what are you doing, doing this to yourself? Right? Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's the commercials. You're like, do not go into the garage. The kid goes into the garage. But no, I think, you know, on the... Have you seen a simulation on the caldera? Have you seen a simulation on the eruption? I don't think I have. Rob, no. do, you, do you have a simulation worth watching on what it would look like? I mean, see if you can find a short one, not one of the bigger ones, because the bigger ones I have. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty terrifying prospect, I imagine. Have you ever walked on a volcano? I've been to Yellowstone. Okay. Yeah. So and, and we've climbed a couple of volcanoes before. Yeah. I, I walked a, an active volcano in Hawaii. 10 years ago. My yeah. wife told me not to do it. I went there with a guy named Jose, with a guy named John, and a couple other people, Lexi, and I want to say Amy was with us. Yeah, and we went there. Let I was going to... It was... What, like, the lava was right in front of us. <laughs> it was terrifying. right in front of us, and you're looking at it, and the lady in the morning says, you got to get there at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, or else the ranger's not going to let you through. Oh, so man. we got there very early. And then we made it past the ranger, and he says, don't do it. And he says, if you smell something that smells like this and it starts raining, turn around. It's not good for you to be there. And then he says, on the volcano you're wa- walking, if you step on it and if it capsules, like if it breaks, you're dead because it just sucks you in. One of our guys, Jose, we're walking. At this point, we've been walking for five hours. He goes, he's stepping on black dry volcano at this point. He steps, all we hear, and you see the rain and the smell comes. We look at each other. The lava's right in front of us. Okay. And it's, it's such a beautiful thing to see. Oh, my God.
God, it's yeah. such a beautiful thing to see. Super hot. It's, it, it's so confusing with everything that's going on. And we said, guys, it's probably a good idea for us to just turn around to just get out of here. And that's exactly what we did. We said, man, let's make it. Did you find one, Rob, or not? Just play the second one right there. Sounds like walking on an icy lake. Like we hear that. Yeah, cracks. exactly. Yeah. Not that one. The one below it, Rob. The one below it, the simulation. Right? Is that the one you clicked on? Yeah, you can put this on 2.0. This is just an example of saying when it happens and you got to drive away. Look at that. <laughs> it's like a nuclear bomb's gone Stay off. Seriously. Yeah. So now he's driving away. Right? And he gets it's bigger yeah. and bigger and bigger. And now it's chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's like a Dante's Peak, right? Is that yeah, the, that's yeah. right. Dante's movie, Peak. Yeah. Same kind of thing. I mean, this, that's Hollywood right there. That but. is Hollywood at the highest level, and you're seeing the explosives. Um, no matter how far you get, it just keeps getting closer and closer to him. By the way, there is a there's an image that shows if the uh, uh, this volcano was to erupt, how far out its reach would be. Rob, can you pull up that image on the reach, what it would be? It's just worth knowing. Guys, we just want to make your day a little bit more smoother, less things to worry about. Look at this here. Oh, I'm all right. I'm in New York. We're fine. You're going to be <laughs> all right. By the way, look at us. We barely miss it in Miami, okay, in South Florida. We are barely. Rob, like we, that's Pompano. Pompano gets hit. We don't get hit, right? <laughs> and Houston is safe. Everybody else. You're so getting, what is yellow? Is that you're, you're safe or not? Yeah, go to to see what the, di what the different things means. Thickness, thickness in millimeters for the ash that's going to be in the atmosphere. Ooh, okay, so you're, you're coughing. All in that region, basically, yeah. You've you've got serious breathing problems. What, what does what does blue mean, Rob? Is it telling you anything, or is it just the thickness of ash? Holy it's shit! Thickness, and I believe that's millimeters. Well, that's I mean, like one Pom or three. Yeah, that's like Pompeii levels of yeah, a bad day right there, right? You've got yeah. people encased in ash. It's a bad point. day. It's definitely qualified as a bad day if you go through something like this. You, you don't you don't want to be stuck in a thing like this. Yeah. What's this, Rob? The same thing. It's just showing the impact zone if the caldera volcano erupted. I would say don't obsess about these things, right? You can you can obsess about. There's so many. No, we threats. want to. We want to obsess because there, there's we, meteors, there's gamma ray bursts, there's supernovae. You, you which can one's go worth on obsessing it. about? Which one's worth obsessing about? Any one of these guys? I think trying to enjoy your life's worth obsessing about. That's what it is. Right? I love it. Yeah. What a great mentality. Yeah. To have. So, folks, enjoy your life. Go to Yellowstone. <laughs> Take a vacation there. Right. Go walk over the volcano and. See what you can do with it. In these uncertain times, if there's anything we need is we need people to believe the future looks bright. So you, if you've heard about me saying this mission to you, we're on a mission to get a million people to wear this gear. And this is what we're doing. If you buy one of these hats, there's a category of buying one hat, getting the second one free. If you haven't yet worn this gear publicly, go ahead and test it out. Buy some of the gear, wear it in public, and see how many people will stop by and say, you're also, you also watch a value, Tim. You, you also follow PBD Podcast. I do too. Place your order. Go to vtmerch.com. Click on the link above or below. Place your order and represent the VT and the PBD Podcast gear. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.